First of all, my congratulations to Moneza Jahangir and uh, Solema Jahangir, the two daughters of Ms. Asma Jadani, the great uh, activist of all times. Uh, she has started all this, uh, you know, activity of uh, providing the justice to the vulnerable people. And my specific topic is the jail and in which uh, she has worked so much. And now after her, her entire team, I must congratulate your team as well for uh, carrying on her, her uh, mission. Uh, I think the, Dr. Kadir has very ably and emphasized uh, upon the uh, different steps taken inside Punjab for the improvement of the jails. Um, and uh, our next speaker, Ms. Rubina, has also emphasized his time, her, her experience for the, you know, she has been working in the jail. Ms. Levin has also given the international perspective and uh, Sara Bilal, and, uh, as the leader of JPP, has also given, you know, very important input in all discussions. And of course, uh, they are very valuable. Uh, taking the advantage of uh, some of the lawyers present in the hall and uh, and I accept the responsibility and confess before this audience that the judicial custody has to be regulated by the courts. If the prisoner is convicted or if a prisoner is under trial prisoner or some other kind of prisoner, uh, it's well -being, his well-being and his uh, proper uh, provision of the, uh, and protection of the fundamental right of inviolability of dignity of man is the responsibility of the judiciary. Uh, and how can we fulfill the responsibility? I think this is also my area of interest in which I would like the audience to participate and to put their uh, ingress inside. Uh, it has, a lot has been talked about the capacity of the courts. A lot have been, lot have been talked about the uh, mechanism, the, the functioning of the courts. Perhaps that is not up to the level of the common man because if the person is languishing in jail for months and months and years, owing to the, um, uh, owing to the fact that decision is not timely made, uh, those factors, I think, is my concern. Uh, you know, we have to, you know, follow the ethics of the professions and that we do all the time. But with the passage of time, they all keep on, you know, improving and, you know, keep on uh, developing in a positive way. And let's talk about that, okay, if you want to follow the strike culture, which I think recently, in the recent past, has declined to a great extent for which the appreciation must be extended to the bar associations and the learned bar members also. But if you have to, if under compelling circumstances, if you do, if you had to do it, then why don't you don't extend those uh, strikes culture to the cases in which the uh, detention is the subject matter for the trials and for the bails and things like that? Because there are other cases also in which you can, you know, register your protest and all the time. And then secondly, uh, how to increase the capacity of the judges? Obviously, increasing number of judges is one part of the area. The other is to, increase, to train them to the maximum to tackle with the situation is another part of the area. And I think the third, which has been pointed out, was the introduction of the modern techniques in disposing of the cases. To introduce the video conferencing, video linking, and uh, audio input, audio uh, conferencing, things like that. Because that will, you know, save the time of the... Uh, uh, courts and also dis help decide cases earliest. And uh, thereafter, I think what uh, one thing I must share uh, with you that uh, in the rec recently, I think about a month ago, the High Court has uh, issued a notification throughout Punjab, according to which all the district and session judges have to carry out the inspection twice a month. And that SOP of the resume has been developed on the basis of the recommendations made by the NGMC and a various fora like this Asma Jangi's conference on the, pre, on the on, uh, last year and as, uh, before that. So uh, that has encompassed the recent judgment uh, in which Ms. Sara Bilal was a counsel, uh, in which the mentally retarded uh, prisoners were focused on. So that has also been incorporated. So 
here onward, that is, I think, one ought to share with you that, that in the jails, these will be followed. As far as the reduction of the prison jail is concerned, what is our responsibility? I have just shared. The other is that, uh, you know, we have, uh, and I think very rightly pointed out by uh, Ms. Sara, that uh, we have to see the, what type of prisons are coming in. I'm, I'm sure they, they must be coming from the vulnerable spectrum of the society. Garib log, nadar log, jinki koi aam kisim ki petty crimes mein they were involved and then were sent to the jails. So we have to segregate those prisoners, I mean, on the basis of their crime which they have committed. And of course the approach will be obviously different. But uh, if you can uh, share the data, I think that will help us to understand the issue. Uh, another important point I want to point out is that, you know, uh, many conferences we have been discussing these, uh, rec giving these recommendations and uh, things like that, you know, all the film. Just aapne bataya ki all things are, you know, data is full of, uh, the literature is available on the prison reforms and all that thing. But how to follow it, how to implement it, I think this is very important because in the last Asma Jangis conference, if something was recommended, this was the time to show to the audience and to the public that, okay, what we recommended on the la a year back has been followed to this extent. And from here onward, this recommendation will further be implemented. And I think those who are the responsible to implement those, you know, consensus things, which for, for we, have the, we have no difference. And thank, th thank you very much, audience. This is a apolitical gathering, I think, uh, in which uh, uh, we can uh, talk our heart out and we can discuss that, okay, last conference mein jo kuch humne recommendations ye resolution diya tha, uska follow hume mazid aage kya karna hai. And as far as this topic is concerned, I'm sure that on the last discussion also, last year also, must have been, must, would have been said, uh, which has to be followed thoroughly. Uh, thank you very much for uh, providing us an opportunity. If there's any question, we are all here. <laughs>